In 2002, while on vacation, my wife and I stopped in Hurley to visit the birthplace of my grandfather. During our 23-hour visit, we discovered a historical Jewish community and eventually the history of my great-grandfather, the rabbi of this community, at the turn of the 20th century. His story, like so many other Jewish pioneers of the area, started in Eastern Europe. To escape religious persecution and poverty, they came to America. In our case, they came by ship. From Lithuania to the newly formed hamlet of Hurley, Wisconsin. The culmination of my exploration into my ancestral history led to a dedication weekend of the Sherry Sedek Synagogue and the Hurley Jewish community. One can only wonder if our ancestors, often of Orthodox background, knew what this new town would become. The following is a brief history of Hurley's earliest days. In late 1884, the town of Hurley was nothing more than a few crude structures fashioned out of logs and tents. The population was no more than 300. Merchants, as well as miners, were beginning to migrate into this new area. The little town would be synonymous with corruption and sin. It would become the most infamous little town in America. Throughout its history, its tales of misdeeds were front page news, captivating an entire generation. For good or for bad, Hurley would embed itself into the American conscience. Hurley, as it was written, was one of the three worst places on earth, and Hurley would be the worst of the three. By 1890, Hurley was famous for its silver street life. 80 taverns, 50 gambling parlors, and over 200 prostitutes plied their wares in saloons, theaters, and social clubs. With this history, perhaps it is most fitting the Orthodox community of Sherry Sedek would form to bring the Jewish values of Tikkun Olam, healing and repair of the world we live in. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it.